Hi, welcome to Conversion Conversations. This is Cameron. Uh, today, I'm not reviewing or discussing or putting stickers on any toys. Um, instead, I wanted to talk a little bit about my experience at PAX Unplugged, specifically the Transformers trading card game. So I went to PAX, had a great time, got some cool stuff, got that like their uh, their card game kit this year, which I, I really love these sleeves. Those look terrific. Um, and the deck box. Uh, spent the first day mostly doing D&D stuff, spent the second day mostly doing other board game stuff, and then the third game, or the third day, I spent some time playing Transformers. So uh, I brought a pre-constructed deck. Um, I found a deck list online, Nemesis Prime, Demolisher, Barrage, I guess, uh, alt modes, Nemesis Prime, Bar Demolisher, Barrage, and then, uh, uh, it's mostly like a blue control, so I'm, I'm flipping for blue pips, uh, trying to flip my deck to get Nemesis Prime beefy and have him swing through stuff. Um, oop, dropped a card. There we go. I think I did pretty well. Uh, I went two and three, which is not a winning record in the constructed tournament. Um, uh, but I was, I was pretty happy. It was my first real time playing the game. I opened a booster box with some friends in a draft, and that was my only other experience with the game. Um, and I basically just made the deck out of what I had. The differences between mine and the Vector Sigma playlist, I think, are just... I've got rapid conversions in here, because uh, I didn't have all the cards that they had in their deck list. I still need two data banks, and I need a um, security checkpoint, I believe, are, are the ones I'm missing to get the same 40 battle cards that they have. Uh, but I was I was pretty happy with, with it. I, uh, I also did their battle tournament. I played a deck, uh, got five booster packs, pulled a Grimlock, uh, made a deck out of Grimlock, and then I think the other two were um, Bumblebee, a common Bumblebee and Jetfire. Uh, this is this is what I pulled for my, my battle my uh, battle league um, booster packs. I swapped Grimlock, because I already have one. He's a duplicate. I have all the Dinobots. Swapped him for an Inferno that I don't have with someone that really, really wanted a Grimlock. Um, so Inferno is really the only new character card I got from those booster packs. And then I had a simple 25-card deck, mostly focused on pulling orange pips and and swinging. And I, I did go, I think I went 2-1 and one or 3-1 and one, uh, in Battle League. And the only loss I had was I conceded uh, at, like, 12.59 so I could get into the 1 p.m. constructed tournament. I really like the draft mode. That's that's what I want to talk about is um, if you're in the Cincinnati Dayton area of Ohio uh, and you want to check out the Transformers game, I am looking for people to uh, play with and draft with. The constructed, I definitely, obviously I need to learn the game better, um, but I was pretty happy uh, with, with my constructed deck from, from what I happen to pull so far. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. I just want to talk about that. And then I did uh, with my two three record. I got four booster packs, and then uh, I bought four more booster packs because I had to have like fourteen bucks on me at the time, and like it was the last of my cash from the convention. I didn't really want to take it home, so I'm gonna open up uh, these booster packs on the camera and see what I get. Uh, I guess I'm hoping for anything I don't have character wise. Hoping for the, the data pad and the um, security checkpoints battle card wise. And then it would be nice. Uh, I'd like to try a, a Jets deck, and if I can pull Skywarp or Uncommon uh, Starscream, that would be great. The other card I'm looking to pull would be um, Rare Optimus Prime, because the, the, the deck that kind of drove the meta of the weekend was the Double Prime Optimus Nemesis deck. The things I want to play with, I have, I believe I have all the Insecticons, so I'm going to build an Insecticon deck. Play with that. I want to play with the Dinobots. Uh, I saw a really cool Metroplex deck list um, that I'm going to check out. And then if I can pull that Rare Optimus, I've already got Nemesis, and that would be pretty cool. So starting out, double Barrage, so that's already a dupe. That's okay. I think I've got all the commons and most of the uncommons now, not all of them. Um, we'll save, we'll save the battle cards for later. We'll just go through character cards. Second pack. Um, I will say this was a ton of fun. Like, I, 
I am coming from a perspective that I've been a, a kitchen tabletop magic player, kitchen top magic player. Um, I started playing at the uh, end of the invasion cycle. Hey, Skywarp, nice. So I do have that and I've got Thundercracker. Um, so I think the, the standard planes deck is Uncommon Starscream, uh, Skywarp, and then uh, Thundercracker if you have it, or, or Slipstream if you have it, Thundercracker if you don't. When this defense inflicts at least one white pip, you may choose one of your other characters if you do damage when this attack is done to that character instead. So that's interesting. I guess it's because he doesn't have a ton of health. Um, and then it, it lets you see the top of your deck. So I do have Skywarp, that's nice. And I've got almost a complete play set on most of the battle cards. I did, like I said, I, I bought a booster box and I drafted with some friends. I ended up keeping all the cards. Um, I am going to try two more drafts. I'm hoping to do another one with friends where I keep the whole booster box. And then I'm trying to set up a group in uh, in in the area to, to do a, a booster draft of people who want to check it out. Oh, we do have Optimus Prime. That's probably common. Freedom Fighter. Yeah, that's a common Optimus Prime. So I've already got him, but that's okay. Let's see what else we got. I, I like, I, I prefer opening sealed product to buying singles. I don't know why that is. I feel like, I don't know. Sludge, I already got a sludge. I really like drafting and that might tie into why I prefer buying booster packs. I could have, I could have bought the battle cards I needed for the price of four booster packs. And at that point I was like, I'd rather just buy the booster packs because maybe I'll get something else that I want or need uh, to fill out a play set of way one. Hey, that's that's a, the third Grimlock I've pulled. So, um, I know he's a rare. I guess I might try and see if I can trade him for something. Maybe like a, uh, a Shockwave. We'll open up the second one. Um, so like I was saying, the two formats I played were Battle League, which is build a 25 star, uh, five, or 25 star, 25 card, um, deck from five booster packs and then just play it. Um, oh, I don't know if I have a Jazz. I might have, no, he's uncommon. I probably don't. When this card attacks and you flip at least two white pips, this gets pierced too. That seems like a little unlikely in the decks I'm running now. When this defense against an enemy who doesn't have pierce and he had, oh, that's kind of cool. That's interesting. So that might be new, put that in the pile. But yeah, so Battle League was 25 stars, 25 cards from five packs. And then every time you win, you got to go up um, to the organizer's table and grab two random battle cards to try and improve your deck. Um, if you lost, you just got one. But it was, it was a fun way to kind of break into the game for new people. And I think it is much more interesting than the, the starter pack. Um, and then the organized play was uh, singles matches, five rounds, you got different prizes based on the record. And Prowl I've already got. Last one. So no uh, no real big gets it looks like besides Skywarp. Hopefully this is a Starscream. Or a Shockwave or an Optimus. I'd be happy with either of those since I already have Nemesis. Oh, come on. These are a little... I don't... I don't need Bumblebee as far as I've seen from that super rare card. The guy next to me in Battle League uh, actually pulled a super rare Bumblebee, so that was exciting because that was the first, I think that was like the first, come on, the first booster pack he opened for the game. And yeah, right now I'm super into it. The, uh, the second wave comes out next year. Um, I'll probably be after the booster boxes I want to buy for the draft. Ah, uh, come on Bumblebee, that's okay. I'll probably be done buying stuff and then I might see what I can sell certain things for to, to fill out a play set. Um, I'd like to get two play sets to just allow like me and a buddy to make pre-con decks. But yeah, so for characters, here's what we've got, kind of new stuff. And I guess we can do battle cards. And yeah, I'm, I am recording this before I stickered up Nova Star, but it'll probably go up after, I'm not sure. We'll see how it ends up looking with all the footage. So, Improvised Shield, I'm pretty sure I've got a full place it on that. 
Two Orange Pips is nice. Tough One is, you know, standard. Uh, inspiring Leadership, Brainstorm, New Designs. The bigger they are, nice. So one of your character gets two attack, plus two attack until the end of turn. While it's attacking an enemy that has more stars in it, it gets Pierce 4. So I feel like this runs super well on a deck like the Insecticons, where you're going to be running four low-star characters. Aerial Recon and Equipment Enthusiast. That one I like um, for each of your car uh, upgrades. I like it's a single white pip. The pips are interesting to me. They, we've seen double pips. We've seen uh, orange and blue pips. Um, I don't know if we've seen a double white yet, but there is space on the card for three pips, which kind of gives the, the developers some, some breathing room for how they design cards. They can make kind of mechanically maybe a little weaker, but it might give three orange pips or just play around with, with the colors and things. Reinforced Plating, Leap into Battle, Medic, Crushing Size, Ion Master. So I might have a play set of these now. I think I do. So it's a shame I don't have the Optimus to put it on. I have the Starter Set Optimus and the Common Optimus. Um, I'll have to keep looking for that Optimus. And then I've heard that the Rare Megatron is not, not uh, nearly as good. Reinforced Armor, Flamethrower, Crushing Size, Ready for Action. Hey, that's new! Null Ray of Starscream. While this is on Starscream, he has Bold 2, and it's an orange and it adds an attack. That's pretty dang awesome. I'm pretty sure I have a plate set of Jaws of Steel. So that's totally new for me. But yeah, I, I like the game so far. Like I said, it's uh, there's something about only having, what is it? In this game, Wave 1, there's 121 cards to worry about. 40 characters, 81 battle cards. Zap, system reboot. Scraps their hand and draws four cards. Disruptive entrance. That one got used on me quite a bit on a double prime deck. And then crushing treads, the upgraded character has pierce equal to its attack, or defense, defense. Interesting. Um, but yeah, I played Magic for a while. I like Magic, I actually still have uh, they got me with this nostalgia. I bought a booster box of both Return to Dominaria and Guilds of Ravnica. I just haven't opened either one yet. Flamethrower, Improvised Shield, Scrapper Gauntlet, Zap, Roll Out. Roll Out's nice, so there's that orange and a blue, so it doesn't really affect your pip spread. Uh, it works for either way. And then um, it's a nice little free transformation. Uh, Multi-mission gear and emergency maintenance. But yeah, Magic's fun, uh, but this was, I think, the first time in forever that I've done an actual tournament. I was, even though I lost, I was hooked. I, I do want to learn the game better. I want to play more. Uh, like I said before, hey, databank! I needed that. That's awesome. So that is definitely going in. Let me see. Probably, I only got two packs left. Probably not going to pull this second... Um, but if I do, that's nice, and if I pull security checkpoint, that's nice. I would like to try, ooh, piercing blaster, pierce three. Oh, that's pretty sweet. System reboot, multi-tool treasure hunt. I would like to, uh, run the, uh, nemesis control deck as intended. Hopefully, I might have enough cards to try and run this and the Dinobots. I've got a lot of the Dinobot battle cards. Um, so I'll have to see if I've got something to build a deck around them. They're just all about those orange pips. Thermal Weaponry. Nice. I saw a really cool deck with RC in it. It was like RC, Jetfire, and was it Wheeljack? Or maybe it was RC, Jetfire, and um, I forget who. Um, but it was all about protecting RC and giving her a ton of bold, and he had almost only orange pips in his deck. And just getting her to swing big, because when she swings, she ignores your defenses. And he was able to one-shot my nemesis uh, on, like, the, the first time RC attacked, I think. He attacked with everyone else and then swung with her and killed nemesis. Um, yeah, the game's a lot of fun. Like I said, if you are in the southern Ohio area or the tri-state area, Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, um, hit me up, because I am trying to form a group to play with regularly. I'd very much like to do that. And I am down to try different formats. Um, drafting, the pre-constructed, the turbo draft, whatever is out there, I, I want to check out. All right. Thank you very much.
See you guys later.